from the Ross Barnett Reservoir. There it is, Jackson, Mississippi, 33,000 acres. We got a nine mile main lake and uh, 11 mile up river lake, up river. And uh, we get people fish in Pelachi Bay, which that's another part of the lake. And there's three lakes in one. And Terry, uh, the main thing is, what, what part of the lake do you select? Well, this morning, right, the wind was, you know, weatherman predicted it coming out of the south, and uh, so that kind of messed our plans up early, so we ended up, it was blowing out of the north, actually, so we kind of hit the channel up above the bridge. We went above the bridge a little bit, and um, lucked up and caught a, caught a couple fish here, and, you know, they were, they were biting a little bit, and then it kind of slowed up, or you had what you thought, you know, maybe best you could do in that area, and then the wind finally let up and switched around a little bit and so we were able to come back down to the mid part of the lake around oil well and saddlebags out in the channel out in there and uh so it was you know there was some you know there's some structure along through there seemed to be where where we caught some better fish at uh, yes, sir. Thank you very 20 much. 20 to 25 foot of water 17 18 foot deep <laughs> Seems like everybody that did good was fishing real deep. That's, what, it's, that's, on it, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, if on structure. Now, up. one team did say they, were, they weren't in structure, that they had, uh, oh, you know, okay. they were, didn't hardly get hung up. They were fishing, you know, just some straight, straight channel edge or whatever. So the bridge you're talking about is on 43 Highway, and that divides the main lake from upriver. And uh, uh, it's, it's this choice you make fishing, and you can't fish everywhere. And, uh, People all around you may be catching fish, and you not, but obviously you had a good day. Yeah, there, there was there was a lot of boats below the bridge because the wind was blowing a little bit on the other side, but it wasn't terrible because you got a little bit of north land up there to block some of it off. So we got we chose to go out maybe where the where it wasn't as much boat traffic and, and like I say you could you could fish and not rot too bad and. Uh, Hey, light bite, they might, but you better be watching your poles. There wasn't no just knocking it and, and going on your better fish. Uh, like I say, they, they uh, you know, hit it just to, I guess, I guess you're right down at that level yeah. by them and they just not hitting and going down or something. But, uh, what was your choice of bait? Uh, we straight men a rig all, all day. Okay. What, what we, what With we a bail weight right on the bottom or a Carolina? Uh, we were using the bail on the bottom. Okay. So, like, so much structure in Barnett. It's yeah. Better. Yeah. If you don't, you, you, you're not going to get it back. That's right. It's, it's, if you got that little weight on the bottom in that structure, you can bounce it sometimes. And get, we broke off a few times, but uh, you, can, you can get it off that weight on the bottom sometimes and go ahead and keep, keep going. Did you hold your own today? Uh, maybe a little bit more than my own. <laughs> I, had, I had a little bit of okay. better net, man. But uh, okay. man. yeah, I'm glad we got what we got in, though. Yeah, we had, right, did right. have two good fish that hey got to the net. I think I knocked one off, and the other one just took off. And it was a it was a bad net job, is what it boiled down to. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, had those two fish, we made to put Ray in the third. I mean, yeah. third place. <laughs> well, well, hey, we'd like yeah. to find out, but that's all right. It didn't happen. But uh, hey, we were we were tickled because our pre fish was pretty tough. I mean, there was, there was times where it was like, man, where are the fish at? You know, we just wasn't catching them, trolling out in the channel and in, in the opens, and they were probably on structure then. But uh, yesterday, it seemed like the bite picked up a little better than it had. So, so they, they, and for the weather conditions we had on Barnett, man, I think this was the second time we've gotten lucky, you oh, yeah. know, this year. So We needed it. Yes, yeah, we today. needed it. We had a good time, had a good turnout, and uh, we're looking forward to our spring tournament in April. And I think uh, American Crop is coming in here in April also. Yes, so we'll have two tournaments in April. And that's prime time on Barnett for spawners. About the 15th of April, you ain't gonna be there. So. Yeah, so y'all get you some, uh, some B&M poles. I see the man's hat yeah, right yeah. here. Hey, we had B&M's all day and, and uh, yeah. hadn't broke one of them off. And we did some yanking on them too with them weights. You know, sometimes you can just, if your rig don't snap off, hey, you can straighten it up a little bit and get it get it off there. So uh, yeah. definitely, definitely helped out with those. So. Here's our way master and I'm an ex-president. In fact, the uh, first president of my Nordic Crappie. We started in 93. So. We're the oldest local coffee club in the United States. Man, yeah, yeah. We're and proud of it and have a, I'd say we had 52 boats today, so 61 at Grenada and we fished Sardis. Our next tournament will be in Lake Washington, December the uh, 
November? Nine. 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 It's the second. I think it's the second weekend. Be so. Yeah. Should be some pretty good fishing there then. Watch well, yeah, be pretty good. good luck. Yeah. yeah. Be looking forward to seeing you there. All right. All right, Red. Appreciate it, yeah. man.